Hey, do you want to learn how to make this kind of cool interactive plots in Python? Stick around for 5 minutes and I'll show you how. Hello everybody, welcome to Machine Learning and Data Science Open Source Spotlight. Today I'm going to cover Bokeh, so let's get to it. So Bokeh is a bit different from the previous packages that I covered in the sense that it's already quite established and sponsored, uh, but I still think that it's very underused. The main reason for that I think is that it can be a little bit tricky to get into at first, so that's my main goal here today, to help you get that first step, and so you will feel more comfortable using it yourself in the future. So what does Bokeh do? Bokeh helps you plot interactive plots, and it utilizes HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, so it can be interactive, you can show images, you can embed them in website, so it's a really cool tool. So let's load the data. Uh, I parse the Business Insider websites to make this little data set and we're tracking the most shorted stocks uh, this month and we have the name, the ticker symbol, what kind of market cap it is, the short interest, the short percent of float and the link to the images. So we want to plot that. So like many big Python libraries, Bokeh wants you to use its own native data structure. So in Bokeh it's the data source. So if you're loading your data in pandas in a data frame, it will be most useful to use the column data source. So you pass your data frame uh, to this function and now it's converted to the bouquet native type. You can still access all of your data the same way you would have your data frame in this dictionary format if you type in the data method. So now you have to decide in what way you want to deploy your uh, plot. So if you want to do it in an HTML file like I did here, it will be output file and you can also plot it in line in the IPython notebooks uh, as well. So now let's get to the plotting. Much like Matplotlib, you have in Bokeh a figure. So the figure object is like the canvas of your plot. When you initialize it, you initialize the general parameters of the layout of the plot. So it will be the axis, the width, the height, um, if it's categorical, so you have to specify the range in the x-axis. So it doesn't have to do anything with the what type of plot you will put in. So here I chose a vertical bar plot. So these are the general parameters of the canvas. So let's get to the actual plotting. So as you've seen in the figure, I want to make a vertical bar chat. So you apply this method to your figure object and this is what you need to feed in. So you have three required positional arguments if it's the vertical bar. So you have to specify the X range, the width of the bar and what is the Y range. And please note that I'm only using the string of the column names. And this is possible if you specify a source. So this is why it's useful to have a column data source. You specify that this is the source and now I can use just the column names of the data to specify what I want in each element of the chart. And an exception to that is if you want to make a color map. So if you want to make a color map in conditions for some factors, so you have to give a list of those factors and it can't read it from the column data source. So just like in Matplotlib, you can still alter the figure after you are initialized it. So here we're gonna change some parameters for the legend and I'm going to specify it will be in the top right horizontal as such. So let's have a look what we've made so far and as you can see uh, I can plot it in line in this uh, notebook. So we have these default tools, interactive tools that Bokeh offers. We can uh, zoom in with the mouse wheel, uh, we can play with it a little bit and we still don't have the cool hover tool uh, that we've seen here. So this is what I'm going to show you now. So there are many tools you can use in these Bokeh interactive plots. Here we're importing the hover tool. And if you don't want to use images, this is fairly simple. You just do this hover.tooltips and you can see the documentation. You just pass a list of the columns you want to see in the data column source. 
uh, but if you want to see images you have to create this own HTML uh, format so don't run away you can do it I know it you're smart it's not that difficult and this is the way that we do it I made this uh, cheat sheet to help you follow along so we open with the div tag to open a new section and then we type in these h3 tags to make a title and pay attention to this at sign this at sign helps us access data from the original data column source so we want the title to be the name of the stock so for every new row we open up a new div and I use the strong tag to make uh, a bold font and then I access again the data source to get the actual value that I want so this is what we see here so we have the hover tool and we see the title and then we see the column name in bold and then the actual uh, data sample from the data structure so we do this for all the column data and finally for the images we use the image tag we specify the source the source is located also in our data so I access it with the at sign which will direct us to the link and I restrict the shape so it won't be that big and then all we have to do is add them add the tool to the figure and we can see the result so there you have it we have the interactive plot we have the hover tool we have the legend everything it works fine very fast and neat uh, so you can take this HTML tag embed it in a website or you can just keep it in an HTML file uh, and maybe use it later it will still work as it works here please share your thoughts on bouquet now that you've seen this video do you think you're using it in the future and if this video helped you in any way please help me help more people uh, sharing the video tagging someone in the comments liking the video everything helps and if this is the first time you're seeing me here i do this every week so feel free to connect or follow uh, to see more of this type of content see you soon